Hey everyone, it's Missy here, design team member for Stamp Anything. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have my last card using the August Aladdin themed release. So this card was supposed to be way more grandiose than it turned out, but I am not one who can fiddle around and figure out like really special moving around cards. Like I did that genie card and I'm surprised that even works, <laughs> let me tell you. So my original idea was to have some kind of like flippy turny card where Aladdin and Jasmine are like on the front and then you turn it and it's the magic carpet or vice versa. And I was like, I tried and tried and tried. I was like, I can't get it. And I couldn't find anything on like Pinterest or whatever that I wanted. So I went ahead and just made a shaker card with the um, magic carpet as the background. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to color Aladdin and Jasmine. We are going to make a shaker card using the A2 shaker pouches from Stamp Anything. I love them. I just asked for more and got some in my design team package. Speaking of that, if you missed it, there were a couple announcements this week. First, there's a new class with Annabelle for peonies. And I will have that link down below. All of these links are affiliate links, by the way, if I'm posting them. The second is that there is a, um, a Halloween themed release. We have Monster Mash 1 and Monster Mash 2. Those are on 6x8. Um, aren't they 6x8? I think they're 6x8. Don't quote me. Now I don't remember. I will have it listed down below. <laughs> if you missed it, last week I posted a video on Saturday using Frankie and the Bride of Frankenstein. Kevin did a video just a couple of days ago using Frankenstein. So there are lots of samples and fun stuff for you to check out. And I will have them linked down below if they're still available. Um, that is probably one in, one of my only, val um, I almost said Valentine's Day, holiday, Halloween. <laughs> Halloween themed cards that I post this year. We shall see. And you're like, Misty, why only one? Because I start my holiday card series on my channel on Wednesday. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you can find me at the Jolly Fat Elf. Okay, so, oh, the release. So starting next month, if you missed the announcement, our, rather than getting three chibi stamps like that are three by four, they're gonna be on a six by eight sheet. You're getting four characters and you're getting a sh I almost said a bad word. <laughs> I <don't. laughs> oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Oh my word. Okay, so you're going, they're going to be on a six by eight package. You're going to get extra sentiments. You're getting an extra character and everything else will be as it is. Um, if you want to be guaranteed to get the release, make sure you sign up for Stamp Club. That is listed down below. Listen, this is the fourth time I've tried to film this intro. We just gonna have to go with it. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to follow the Facebook group, Facebook page, and Instagram. All of those are listed down below. Leave me a comment saying hi or leave a purple heart. And yeah, that is way more jibber jabber than necessary. Let's, so let's head over to the craft table and we will get started. I can't believe I almost said a dirty word on this channel. I saw we. I promise I saw. Okay, friends, before we get into this, one last announcement. Stamp Anything is having a Labor Day sale. 40% off everything in our retiring section. So make sure you check that out. I will try to see if I can link directly to that section down below. But yeah, go get some goodies and um, save some coin for sure. So yeah, okay. I will have everything listed down below per usual. Let's start with Aladdin and Jasmine. Let me tell you. This this was a lesson in patience because this is like the fifth or fourth fourth or fifth time that I colored her. Um, I just I hate. Do you ever have days like that where you're coloring and nothing looks correct? And now the, the I can't get a good photo to save my life because it's a shaker card. So the photos I'm going to share with you today are not great, but you at least get to see it in action. So I am coloring her skin um, too dark. This is one area that I kind of went too dark. I, um, you can see the darkness that I have added. And I, if I had to do this card again, which maybe I would, I would not color, excuse me, color her skin this dark. I will have all the Copics I use listed down below. But again, I wouldn't color either of their skins this dark. Although it was supposed to, again, 
best laid intentions was this was supposed to be a night scene where they're out flying on the carpet, although he's not dressed that way. But yeah, anyway, so I feel like I colored it just a little too deep. And if I had to do it again, I would go back and change that. But I like to start darkest to lightest. I know a lot of people do lightest to darkest. Um, and then I start right at the hairline and just keep adding colors and blending over them, kind of pulling that other color toward the center of the face. And I try to make the center of the face more lighter or lighter than the the around what's it called i don't know <laughs> don't ask me i don't know oh my goodness so i um so you're like misty why why did this take you four times i the very first time i did it i thought oh this is going perfectly i started with the hair and then i realized she has a headband and i'd colored everything black <laughs> it's like okay and i tried to go over it with like um I had turquoise because I'm going to end up using a glitter pen anyway, but a turquoise like glitter gel pen and it, it was just too dark and I couldn't get it to lighten up. I'm like, okay, well, I'll start again. I did it again. <laughs> You'll see in just a second. Once I finish her skin, I am for sure going to color um, her headband before I move to her head, her hair because I just kept forgetting. I was like, oh my word, what is wrong with my brain? I don't know. So in the end pictures that I have now, they both look like they have a little bit of vitiligo. That was not on purpose. Again, it's really hard to um, capture shaker cards, especially ones with those pouches because they are very, very, very reflective. But yeah, so there you see, there's one Aladdin that I crossed out. I didn't share with you coloring his skin because I did it the exact same way. So let's go on to hair. I am going to be doing, I think what's called glazing. I I think it was Betty and maybe even Anne used blue in the in their black haired um, characters and I was like I really want to try that and again this was meant to be a night scene it was going to be at night so they would have kind of that hue anyway so I am flicking I am using my ends uh, for this I believe um, again I will have my markers list down but it's been a few days since I colored this one so I don't exactly remember. But I'm adding in darkest to lightest, flicking in, and then I'm going to have the blue be the highlights. And I'm also adding, like, this is B, I think I did B39, B37, and then like B23. And I, again, just glazing, just going on top of the black that I've, or the gray that I've already put down and adding that blue tint so it makes sense when the highlight is this blue. And I'm just going all the way around it just to make sure that it's blended. And I believe I come back in and add a bit more darkness to this. But I love it. Like, I I really love it. Is this a technique I'll do all the time? No, that would get boring. But um, take this as a lesson from me. Don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid to mess up. It's paper. You know what? It always hasn't. Well, not when you're coloring coloring with Copics. There's no other side <laughs> because it almost always gets you know bleeds through. But you know, if you mess up or something, don't be afraid to start over. If you like, I finally had to walk away. I got up and walked away and was like, okay, I'm gonna take a break and then I'll come back and see if I can get my mojo running. And I did. So don't be afraid to stamp more than once. Don't be afraid to peel up the paper. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. This is crafting in real life is what I like to call it. And there are people who show you absolutely perfect cards by the time they're done. And I like to share with you the little mistakes. That, that way you know you don't have to be perfect because it's paper. So here I am <laughs> coloring her headband coloring the headband so I don't color it dark and I'm gonna go ahead and leave in coloring her hair because I just I just think it turned out so pretty and again I'm like going down with the ends and then going over it with the blues and I just oh I just love this so very much it's definitely something I'll use again and I you could do other colors like I could have used purple here like a really pretty dark violet shade would have worked gorgeous here um even going lighter with the blue but again night scene 
I'm going to repeat myself over and over and over and I apologize. If only I colored this quickly. So I think this has like 16 minutes of footage. Um, this card took all together an hour and 45 minutes. I am a slow colorer. This is sped up to 400 times speed. And um, I'm also someone who doesn't design before I start. Um, I've always been one to just turn on the camera and film what I do. <laughs> sometimes it turns off, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so I've, I, I just, I've never been one who wants to make a sample and then have to do it all over again. I'd rather just do one and one and done. And if I make mistakes, I make mistakes and I fix it along the way. But that's the fun thing about crafting. You can, there's so many different ways. Like I am a messy crafter. Um, I had a Zoom call with another crafter and she was like, oh, your your room looks like mine because this was messy too. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, um, yeah, it's it's pretty messy in here. I um I cook, I I craft like I cook. Like I am a, a like I'll end up dirtying up every pan in the kitchen when I'm cooking. And um I tend to do the same thing when I'm crafting. Um I get things like I just my desk is just and that's why you are zoomed way in. <laughs> All right, moving to her outfit. For her pants, I'm doing the darkest color down the center and then going in lighter um, on the edges. And then I'm going to use, I believe I used BG10 for the kind of, is it called a sarong? Like the, the sheer part of her skirt. Um, I wanted it to look sheer. I wanted it to be very light because I'm going to go over it with um, glitter pen. Now, her bodice, like you'll see me bring in my phone in just a second because I was like, okay, what does she look like? And there's one of the ones that I tried and didn't work out. Um, but I, um, I'm going to go ahead and color her bodice and her belt gold. So this is a gold Sharpie marker and I'm putting this down first and then I'm going to go on top of it with the glitter gel pen. And I did this so I wouldn't have to do a whole lot of blending and try to keep the yellow and the earrings and et cetera. And it just made it easier. Then I have three different glitter gel pens that I'm using here and I'm going to color her earrings in with this. I'm going to color the um, kind of the surround of her jewel. The, what is that called? I don't know what it's called, but the thing that's holding her jewel on and then her bodice and her belt. Now, there are several different versions of Jasmine out there. I tried to stick to the original movie, except her bodice was like her top of her bodice was sheer for the picture I found. And I wanted to go ahead and add in more um, gold. So I colored in the earrings and everything gold then I used the turquoise to do the band of her headband and then I'm using two different colors of kind of turquoise and green um gold and then I'm going to bring in some white to um add some dimension to her uh skirt or whatever this is and I really love how this turned out it's so pretty I don't remember the brand of these um, gel pens, but I got them on Amazon. They came with refills. These are probably some of the best, Chromatech maybe, these are some of the best gel pens I've ever used. I absolutely love them. And here's a look at all that sparkle and shine in real time. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, for Aladdin's outfit, I'm doing a red hat, a purple vest, and then kind of uh, ivory colored pants. And I'm not doing a whole lot of shading. I'm just using one color on the vest and then um, a couple of colors on his belt and uh, his pants. I don't know that I've seen this movie since seeing this movie in the theater. And I loved it. I mean, I just, I don't know. I'm a Disney person. I Rob and I actually today were talking about I would really like to take my nephew to Disney World. And my husband had a procedure a couple of weeks ago and the um, receptionist and I were talking and she's like, yeah, we have, we have season tickets and we go several times a year, you know, we just have to pay for our flight. And she was just giving me all types of hints and tips and stuff because I was like, I would really like to go and take my nephew when he's a bit older. We were supposed to go for my 10 year anniversary or 10 year wedding anniversary and that didn't work out because I got sick. But yeah, so I was going to add some red to his hat, I believe. 
and then decided not to. Um, and then I went ahead and brought in um, another color to kind of deepen those um, pants. And I'm using a micron pen. If you see me pull up that brown pen, it's because I'm adding like where I either it didn't stamp correctly or when I've colored out of the line. Um, this gives me an opportunity to go kind of fix it in the same with the white gel pen. So moving on, I found um, a picture of the magic carpet on Google. Now, this is probably copyrighted and I'm not going to sell this card, so I think it'll be all right. So I cut, um, printed this four per page and that gave me, I think it's like four and five and a quarter, just about. So I'm trying to figure out what color I want as the background. Um, I have this blue and I felt like it didn't really pop. I felt like it was like too blue at that point. So I'm going to bring in some glitter paper. Now I, on my own channel, I'm doing Project Use It Up. I think that's what I call it. And I'm basically trying to use up all the scraps and stuff. I'm trying to be as zero waste as possible. So I keep two different bags. I have a bag full of cardstock and then I have a bag full of glitter cardstock. And some of it's like pieces that I've cut, remnants, etc. I save almost everything and then I do my best to um, use it. Okay, so this is, I screw up here and I think I'm going to leave it in. I don't remember if I do or not. I, um, I didn't make the background big enough. So I try to cut my paper to four and an eighth by five and three eighths when I use these shaker pockets because that's just wide enough to avoid having the adhesive show through. And so um, I screwed up on that. So I'm adding a blue layer to the back. So um, yeah, I'm going to use just some tape runner to get that adhered to the uh, kind of turquoise color and then I'm going to go ahead and roll um, fold these because um, they're scored and I want to fold them before I um, try to put down the adhesive. So for this pocket you're going to want to put down um, three of the four sides and then the fourth side is where you will pour in your stuff and then there is a protective sheet on top. I find it easier to pull it off if you start where that little um, thing that says remove this film or whatever. So I'm using some diamond drills. You guys have seen me do that. I did not mean to put that whole bag of red. <laughs> I didn't mean to put that whole bag of red, red, but after I had to commit, I had to commit. So I used just some flat gold. Um, I thought they looked like coins and I thought that was perfect for this because um, he's always needing money. You know what I mean? So initially I thought this card would be a portrait style card, meaning I thought it would be four and a quarter by five and a half or four and a quarter by 11 square at five and a half and it would be top opening. And then I couldn't figure out how to get the um, images to sit together on this card without hanging over the side. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it and I, I, it's going to stay where it opens. So this is going to open from the side, which is not something I normally do. So I just showed you that real quick. Um, I like to go in with a brush marker on their the pupils of their eyes and kind of darken them up just a little bit. And then I'm going to bring in a heavy duty adhesive. So I'm going to use like score tape, tearing tape. It has many different names. I considered liquid glue, but I was like, mm -mm, I will have liquid all over that acetate. And I just, that's just not something I like. And here I'm just literally playing with um, where I want them. That way I don't put this adhesive where it's going to hang off so they hang off maybe in like a sixteenth of an inch it's not very much at all so i'm just adding this to the back you want a strong adhesive so it'll stick to that plastic and i'm leaving just a little bit to where he won't be attached um, and same for her so once i put that down i'm going to use my bone folder to burnish it and then i'm going to use the tip of my almost said knife, tip of my scissors to pull off the backing and then get them, get them adhered. So this is the final card. I think it turned out so stinking cute. I love the little bit of the magic carpet behind. So we've had all of the characters from the movie right, other than Jafar. Jafar came out in a villain's box a couple of years ago. So yeah. All right, friends, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate you. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things, do the Facebook things, all of the doodly do. Don't forget the Monster Mash 1 and 2 are linked down below. They are 6 by 8 
and they are still available, but I don't think there's very many left. So make sure you grab yours today. All right, friends, I hope you have a safe and happy holiday weekend if you're in the U.S. And yeah, all right, bye for now.